Yeah. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background. So let's get into it. iPhone 11 is here, 14 is here. Phone call is 321. Totally messed the first one up. Already off to a bad start. Music, 321. I think the 14 was slightly faster. Photos, 321. Okay, 14 a little bit faster. Mail, 321. Okay, again, the 14 is the faster one. Clock, 321. 14 again is the faster one. App Store, 321. Okay, the iPhone 11 actually was the faster one. I was just right about to say the iPhone 14 was the faster one every time, but definitely I was already wrong there. Of course, it's not going to go my way. The iPhone 11, so far, I would say, has been doing a decent job at kind of keeping up between both these devices. I would still say, though, for the most part, that the iPhone 14 is probably going to be the faster one overall, swiping out. Let's get into some of these third-party applications so we can try something like Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Now, again, this type of game is not the biggest game in the world, but definitely a you know good-sized one for sure, and I like testing this one because it's just available on all the phones out there. And you can see with something like the iPhone 14, this is where you're probably going to see even the bigger differences. With a device like the iPhone 14, I mean, this one is going to be significantly faster, especially in these more powerful, bigger applications. The iPhone 11 is still good, but you're definitely going to be getting a faster experience on something like the iPhone 14, without a doubt. Now, I don't know why I have 3,000 pop-ups when I'm about to get into a game, but you can see right here that the you know game itself and the phone itself is probably going to be perfectly fine. Hopping out of both of these, let's get into another one. Let's go and try something like Facebook, 3, 2, 1. I think I'm logged in on both. It's not really the biggest deal in the world. Okay, so I don't really know what to do here. So let's go and hop out of both these. Let's go and do stack. Three, two, one. Now again, this game, pretty basic game. So there shouldn't be a big reason why it's like not performing well. But you can see right here again, the iPhone uh, 14 was able to load that one up pretty fast. The iPhone 11 is slightly slower. Getting into the game itself. Let's see if there's any big differences, which again, I really don't think there's going to be. And I'm actually doing pretty good at this game. Hopping out of both these. Let's go and get into something like Dropbox. Let's try Subway Surfers, wherever I have it. I know I have it here somewhere. Three, two, one. Now with this game, I have random pop-ups and glitches that happen all the time here too. So we'll just kind of see what ends up happening here. And we get into this little like random pop-up between both. But I will tell you between both, I definitely do think a device like the iPhone 14 has done a pretty good job. I really do feel like this phone has been doing a really, really good job since you know it first came out. And out of all the things I can complain about both these phones, the performance of the iPhone 14 is still top tier. I think the iPhone 11 is a very good performing device too. There's not really like that much to complain about here, but the 14 is probably going to be the significant, but the iPhone 14 is probably going to be the significantly faster one when it basically comes down to it. So that basically covers it up there.